Hello, in this video we will discuss about the Easter cycle. So during the puberty, after the puberty, the follicle atresia will occur. In this way, the follicle will be uh, produced, uh, fol primary follicle will be converted into the secondary follicle. So it depends on the genotype, nutrition, handling, environmental condition. Uh, 15 to 24 months within so during uh, basically uh, during the estrus cycle stimulation the sign of estrus is the vulvar edema presence of cervical mucus on the other hand heat behavior and resistance uh, uh, sorry restlessness and accept the mounting through a female while the male will sense of estrus and the pheromone will release from their eyes and this is the brain of the female contains cerebellum cerebellar cortex brain stem and brain brain here is contain a hypothalamus and pituitary gland like a human and this uh, hypothalamus will stimulate the gonadotropin releasing hormone which that stimulate the adenohypophysis of the pituitary gland not neurohypophysis so the adenohypophysis or anterior pituitary gland will release the luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone which that target to the ovary and the primary follicle will bind with the follicle stimulating hormone so the primordial follicle will stimulate to the secondary follicle stimulation like a female of human because it is also mammal but the estrus cycle not menstrual cycle. So in this way here is the luteinizing hormone will point also further maturation for lead ovulation and the left behind the tissue is known as the corpus luteum. And this is the estrogen ov uh, ov ovary and steroid will produce estrogen like and progesterone. So remember, after this corpus luteum will, uh, uh, will uh, is a glandular tissue will produce progesterone. If the fertilization will not occur, the corpus albicans will be formed. Anyway, let's begin to understand via a graph. This vertical shows the hormone constriction while the heart is horizontal show the days relative to estrus. So we will understand about the every type of hormone which they regulate within the estrus cycle. So this red color is showing that the follicle stimulating hormone will release before the ovulation and during the ovulation it will decrease minor while the development of this follicle is due to the follicle stimulating hormone while this is the first wave which that is the follicle the dominant follicle will occur is known as the follicular phase and this is due to the progesterone which that is released and in this way progesterone from corpus luteum that is the luteal phase which that is required for the uh, uh, ovulation while the luteinizing hormone also produce this luteinizing hormone is a dominant follicle that ovulates due to the luteinizing hormone and this is the estrus cycle within the 24 days so the follicle stimulating hormone exogenously we can provide to stimulate more than one egg for the retrieval, retrieval for cloning so this is the 21 days is the influence by seasonal uh, thermal stress the prolactin increase lead to anastrum anistrum anistrum mean the gap and in this way the photo period also involved in this way the p4 the gestation here you can see the one nanomillimole of the p4 the gestation uh, which they require the 12 nanomil nanomole per liter while this is the gonadotropin hormone release 
within in the after seven days and in this way the progesterone will release in uh, lead to two days will lead to gonadotropin releasing hormone release will equal to 70 to 90 percent so anyhow in the induction of the luteal lysis and the prolonged uh, luteal phase will occur and in this way the fertilization will occur 